Hey guys, Richard Huntley here, back with a brand new video. Today's topic's a little bit different. I thought I'd change things up. You don't really see too many health and fitness um, ladies or gents out there speak about this topic. I thought I'd bring this up. This is important. You know, um, eating healthy is one thing, but you want to make sure you're trying to eat good produce as well. Um, I'm going to give you some good tips. Make sure you watch this video all, all the way to the end, because when I learned these tips some years back, they really helped me out. And it got me thinking a little bit more about the quality of my food. I invest in as well so um, this is a good one and it's all about how to tell if your eggs are from a sick chicken and I'm gonna give you a little um, a little test for your eggs at home so you can uh, try it out today get the family involved and um, you'll be able to see if you've got a bad egg or not as well so that's a good little tip I'm gonna share with you if you didn't already know so uh, just before we get started if you're new to my videos welcome you can pick up a copy of my seven day plan it's the fat loss formula it's helping thousands of people all over the world grab that for free now um, it's gonna definitely help you out set you up get you in good motivation habits and uh, eating and workouts for the next seven days so let's get started um, what to look for so I've got two little test parts for you today first of all color test um, so you're going to look at the egg and um, inside the yolk it wants to be a sort of yellowish orange color now it doesn't want to be too orange because sometimes um, you don't know if they've been played with and tampered with the eggs but what you want to look is it should be similar sort of color what we're looking for in the um, image to the right the upper image but here's the most important thing you know you're looking one for texture so when you when you see the yolk it should be a, a nice thick and creamy one and um, that sort of texture not, not too watery you know? and another thing is that avoid the pale yolk so if you're if you've got a yolk that's really pale more like a yellowy pale color then you know that that's not coming from a healthy chicken okay uh, if you can ideally buy local you know uh, free range organic They've just been grazing around the local fields or wherever you live, I'm not too sure. But look, I'm very lucky. I live in a village where I've got um, some great egg collectors and I go and collect my eggs from them and I can buy it off of the locals here. But if you can, you know, have a little look around. You might be surprised nowadays. People can um, sort things out if you live in a big city or a town. Uh, you just look about. In the supermarkets, they are getting better. It's a good thing. Lots of these supermarkets are definitely getting better for you to buy healthy, um, fresh and good eggs from, most of all, from decent chickens. You know. uh, next test. I love this test. This is a great one. Get the kids involved. It's the water test for a bad egg so let's say you bought the eggs you want to see if your egg is off or not because lots of people aren't too sure with the eggs um, whether they're okay to eat or not after a certain amount of time well you can do a quick test grab a glass of water just like in the image below shows uh, fill it up with water and then you want to grab an egg and then place it into the water now there's two parts to this if it floats you know the egg is no good Okay, it's gone off, no good for your body. If it sinks to the bottom, then your egg's still absolutely perfectly fine. So that's a quick test for you to try out. Have a little go. So if you're ever a little bit worried about, oh, I've had these eggs a little while now, I wonder how they are, pop them in a glass. If they sink to the bottom, you're good to go. If it comes to the top, no good, okay? So you don't want to have that. So there's two great tips for you, all about eggs today. Eggs are amazing, great source of um, cheap protein. Uh, fitness people have been using them for years. People, humans have been eating them for years. They're great, you know, you can put them in anything, whether it's desserts, breakfast, um, you can have them for different dinners and things. You know, you can get creative. All the things from like, I love an omelette or a frittata, creativity is your friend with eggs but get them in great cheap source of protein and they pack a punch for their size they really do so the uh, eggs get a thumb up from me today there's two quick little tests for you to try out hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, if you did and you've learned something new today make sure you smash the like button share with your family and friends subscribe to my youtube channel much appreciated as always guys can't wait to send you another video straight to your inbox and uh, speak to you very soon have a great day